Why is that so? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mad and today I've got a reading vlog of a finishing series I'm in the middle of. Last time I counted I was in 23 series. I know it, it's actually really daunting. It's actually giving me anxiety. So we need a nip it in the bud. I selected two books for this reading vlog and only two because they are ginormous. You will see in a second. This is definitely going to be a running series on my YouTube channel because I'm in the middle of so many series. Anyways, like I said, for this reading vlog, I have two books. Dun -dun -dun. And that is Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. She's stunning. She's gorgeous. Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. Terrified is an understatement. Now, both of these books, a very, very big one is like 620 pages. The other is 700 pages. I'm not going to set myself up to failure and pick three books. I'm not going to get to three books this week. I'm only going to get to two. I also have plans and a life. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually just released my own book, and that is Air of Broken Kingdom. It is the second book in the Air of Broken Fate series. If you guys don't know about Air of Broken Fate, Air of Broken Fate follows Princess Delilah, who runs to the Fae to ask for help to free her oppressed people, only to find out that the Fae need her help more. And she needs to save not only the entire Fae race, but magic itself. It has enemies to lovers, mermaids, dragons, griffins, slow burn, who did this to you, one bed trope. It truly has everything you want and need in a romance. See? You can get both books on Kindle Unlimited, and if you want these stunning beautiful covers on your shelf you can get her off of Amazon and definitely read the first just so you can go and read the second because everyone is loving the second so much and I have to admit like I, I have to admit the second is so good please read the first just read the second because I released this precious beauty I am finally finally off work for two weeks I haven't had a break for about seven weeks your girl needed it so I have all the time in the world to read and the first book that I'm starting with is Saving Six by Chloe Walsh I'm really nervous I also realize now that I probably shouldn't have put makeup on just because I'm gonna bore my eyes out But we'll see how I go. I actually already started it. I'm up to page 45 and I am annotating it I read a little bit in the bath this morning loved binding and keeping 13 I definitely have to take really big breaks in between reading these books So because the series is just so heavy for me and it's Emotionally and mentally like sometimes I struggle to get through a lot of the things because it's quite triggering For those of you that don't know saving six for Follows the main character Shannon from Binding and Keeping 13's brother Joey and Aoife which also I'm really struggling with the name pronunciations like in my head they're just really unique if y'all can see that but we are getting there I'm liking it so far lots of annotations already that's the other thing that will definitely slow me down is annotations I have to make sure that the lines all pretty <laughs> I knew that Joey's story was going to be heartbreaking and I like sort of knew what it was going to be about and like what his life entailed but this is like a whole other can of worms than what I thought it was and it's absolutely gut-wrenching. I already felt the tears welling up and I had to be like don't cry and my heart goes out to him even more because now I'm like that's what was happening like that's what was being said. update i am up to page 110 and i'm actually up to third year and i've actually found that i'm so engrossed in it that i have to like remind myself to annotate like i will literally read something i'm like i should annotate that and it's like a teeny tiny voice in the back of my head going annotate it Eyes keep reading. I'm like, oh my god, no, on to the next thing. I'm loving it. I will say that Aoife, she's different to what I thought she would be. And in a good way. I love her character. And I can't help but think. I'm reading I'm going, oh, Joey needs someone exactly like that. But what does she need? And will Joey be what she needs? Because I just want to make sure that like both parties are equally there for each other. And you know how like one person, that person can save them. And then once they're all healed and fine, it's like, okay, we actually don't have anything in common. And I don't need you. Goodbye. I'm worried that that's going to happen. I don't think it will. Also, if you guys have seen my reading vlogs before, you know that I'm obsessed with glass tumblers. I got a new one. It has mushrooms. <laughs> I think it's so cool. That is adorable. That is the cutest scene I've ever seen. I know 
this sounds so so bad and this is actually on the publishing house did they do a read through before publishing it because there's so many like grammatical errors like brackets that are backwards i don't know it's just been a few times and, and it just does make me wonder i'm like did did anyone even like read it before they published it traditionally or is this the errors from them like tweaking and editing it it's just interesting it's just interesting <laughs> to page 136 i was just reading while i was eating not much has been happening in the romance apartment it just happened and i love it like look normally i don't like when joey goes off the rails and gets angry this time i did and i love him for it so he's defending Aoife and i love it like i actually love it and not just like normal defending this is like touch her and you die vibes and I'm fucking here for it. I'm actually missing Shannon and Johnny and like Gibsy and stuff. Sorry, I'm moving my <laughs> pillows around. I miss them in this book. Like I'm like yearning for them. The topics in this series are very, very heavy. From Joey's perspective, I literally hate the mother. I literally hate the mother. I am very much aware of how domestic violence works. I know how the partners... Look, I, I know all of that. Like, trust me, I know all of that. But what she says to Joey... I understand and I see now why he had so much anger towards her. I'm up to page 185 and look, like my feelings can totally change as I read the book, as they should, feelings should change. But right now, I don't like her. Officially halfway, I'm up to page 300. I do think that halfway is like 306, but honestly, I don't want to keep reading for the sake of reading. I'm kind of over reading at the moment. My thoughts haven't really changed. I still love Joey. He's still very destructive. I love Aoife. <sighs> Not much romance is happening yet, which is kind of crazy. It's the slowest of slow burns and it just needs to be like marked down as fiction because it's not like heavy romance until then i am loving it and like i've breezed through this i'm not bored and i do like what i'm reading i am just like itching to get to their romance though that is it for today and i will see you guys tomorrow bye she loves ear scratches She always makes you go to her. My camera keeps making everything very white. I don't really know what's happening. But anyways, it's Wednesday. It's actually 1 o'clock. I didn't film this morning because I went and got my nails done. And then so improved. Um, I purposely did not put makeup on today because I knew I would cry. Because we're coming up to the ending of the book. And let me just say, the romance is romancing now, which I'm very excited. So I'm up to pay 405, the 612. Definitely going to finish it today. Obviously going a little bit slow this morning, but that's fine. I'm very happy that the romancing is romancing now. But I looked at the next book. The next book is a thousand pages. And seeing that literally made me want to buy a Kindle just so I didn't have to read the physical copy because a thousand pages for a romance is a bit much, even for me, even for Biny 13. And Joey's still self-destructive, totally and so my self-destructive it's so heartbreaking six year the addiction part is really rearing its head right now and i'm actually like struggling to read it a little bit if i'm being honest it's quite triggering and also have this lovely thing that happens and it's called dissociation and that is happening a little bit i don't think i think i need to like skim read because it's a bit much at the moment to be honest i think like 60 pages left not a lot left it's just like it's just very heavy and i don't think i can like handle it to be honest it's a lot of tabs 
and we'll see how we go. Let me just say, Ollie is literally the cutest freaking kid in the entire world. I literally love reading about him. Up to page 590, there's 620 pages. So nearly there, 30 pages to go. Um, I did have to like skim, I think it was like 20 to 30 pages because it was just so drug and addiction heavy and I just could not bear it. Such a heavy, heavy, heavy book. I finished. I have a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings. I like really feel like numb and dead on the inside. I think that this book maybe was a little bit too much for me to handle. If I'm being completely honest, I forgot all about the drug abuse with Joey and the addiction. Like I thought going in mentally that it was going to be about the domestic violence and the abuse and it was that, don't get me wrong, it was that. I was mentally prepared for that. I was not mentally prepared for the addiction side, which sounds so stupid, but anyways, I'm done and I think I need to like sit on my feelings. I'm gonna go watch Vanderpump to kind of bring myself back. Lots of annotations. Done. Hey guys, it is Friday and it is a no makeup day because we are starting this beast. I am terrified. I'm scared so much so that I've only read two pages and I've only put in my annotations. When I say annotations, this is what I mean. I've got Made Me Feel, Romance, Magnolia, BJ and Julian as the tabs. Again, this will be completely spoiler free. Nothing will happen. But everyone has told me to prepare basically for the worst and to be emotionally stunted and emotionally damaged. I feel like this entire vlog is me reading books that are just emotionally destroying me. I think the last time that you guys saw me, I was a wreck literally felt dead on the inside after reading Saving Six. I'm so nervous to start this A because emotional damage, B because of how big it is. Now granted it's only 700 pages and <laughs> only 700 pages. It is 700 pages. I just read Saving Six which was 620 and I read that in two days so I feel like I can do it. You guys should know I'm a Daisy girl through and through. Magnolia and BJ for me were quite hard to connect to in the first one. I just found them like a little bit annoying and also their relationship quite triggering i feel like a lot of girls have had that like situationship or toxic relationship that's like back and forth that's what magnolia and bj is so it is quite like confronting in a way because it's so relatable but day i love daisy i don't know why i love daisy so much second book for magnolia and bj i kind of understood them a lot more started to connect and i think that this one is going to be the one that i connect with them a lot <laughs> i think it's funny that i finally connect with the characters when it's their literal last book but anyways, let's see. But I also, the first page that I started reading, hang on, either this is a dream or I completely forgot a really, really big thing that happened in the last book. Not that big thing. For the people that are, have read this, not that big thing. I know that big thing. It's between Magnolia and BJ. I can't believe that I forgot. I'm going to read a little bit before my meeting and I will just keep updating you how I do. If I cry, if I feel connected, I'm so nervous, but let's go. So don't judge me. I swear this entire video I'm just going to be wearing the same jumper. <laughs> I just bought it though. You know when you buy something new and you just want to wear it all the time? That's how I feel with crew necks especially. And this is so soft. I'm literally obsessed with this. So just, just know that it's brand new, okay? And that I'm in my wearing it a trillion days in a row. Error. And where I left off before I was crying so I will say I'm actually very surprised that I got emotional like very surprised because um, I didn't get emotional in the last book because people kind of told me what was gonna happen at the ending and like I expected something sad to happen when that big event happened so it was kind of ruined and it kind of stunted the emotions but with this it's like I, I'm feeling what I should have felt in the set in the last book <laughs> I think you girls in a little bit of a slump. It's not a slump per se. I just think saving six was so heavy. Like, why did I go and pick up a heavy book after? Like, it's 3.30 and I'm only up to page 53. There's the update. I'm gonna try and read, but also like not force it as much. I'm just like feeling tired today too. I had a really big day yesterday and I'm just really tired. 
see the yarn. I'm gonna go try and read. I at least want to read 100 pages today. If I can get to 100 pages, I will be satisfied. I got to 100 pages. <laughs> Look, it's not the book. It's not. I just really think that I probably shouldn't have picked these two like heavy, big, emotionally driven books. Because I'm kind of screwing myself over by doing that. I must say I am feeling a lot more connected to Magnolia. And this sounds horrible. It's because of like what's happened. It's kind of brought her down a peg and grounded her in a sense that she's not this like stuck up entitled like airhead. And that's me being very, very blunt. Like kind of surface with her in a way, like the persona, like the facade that she put on, which is horrible to say. I mean, she's not a real person. It is a character. But yeah, that's how I currently feel. BJ, honey bunny. Never thought that I'd be saying this, but I'm... I love you. Freaking rooting for BJ at the moment, let me just say. That's all the updates that I have. I think tomorrow's gonna be a lot better. I think I just don't wanna push myself today. I'm just not in the mood to read. And I will see you guys tomorrow. This is totally unrelated, but I've been filming on this camera for weeks. And it's been like making everything super overexposed. And I couldn't figure out why, because I ha haven't had that issue on this camera before. And I've just been putting up with me looking like a ghost on all of my content. It was on the wrong setting this entire time. Do you know how frustrating that is? But I'm also so happy that I figured that out. I obviously like knocked it in my bag and I like turned the dial. Like I look so normal now. I I'm just happy. I want to bask in the joy of it. I want to share that joy with you. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>a few days talking to you guys. Saturday I ended up going to my sister's and there's a clip of me crying. I like actually couldn't handle the Magnolia Parks book that day. Literally didn't even feel like speaking. Then yesterday I had a book club which was so much fun I actually vlogged it if you guys want to check that out. It's been a bookish day with me. 100 more pages. We're up to page 300. It is taking me so long to get through this book and I can't tell if I don't like it or if I just shouldn't have done two heavy books back to back. I kind of feel like I just shouldn't have done two heavy books back to back. So today's goal is to read 250 pages. I need to get to 450 because then I'll have to read 250 pages tomorrow to finish the book. I've read 100 so I've only got 150 pages to go. <music> You're actually joking. No, that's incorrect. That's actually incorrect. That's actually incorrect. It's not real. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh my god, I'm gonna start crying. I'm actually gonna start crying. I have to like try and annotate and read at the same time. This is, ah. I don't choose to believe this. kidding why would you put me through that i'm talking to you as if you're just hastings why <laughs> update for you guys i'm up to page 389 so i only have about 60 pages to go for today and it is amping up clearly i feel like i just have, went on a roller coaster of emotions and i definitely think i know what direction the book is heading in now i'm not gonna lie i actually don't think it needs to be this big <laughs> Guys, I didn't think that I'd be 
getting like emotional over this book. 20 minutes later. I hope BJ fucking like actually punches him. I hope he punches him. For those who have read Into the Dark, I'm up to page 420 and I'm actually just like raging. I'm raging. Slow is at the window. Slow is gone. Slow does not exist in the Magnolia Parks universe. <gasps> Go Hamish. Go Hamish. Hamish is BJ's dad. Go him. He just father of the year award for that. do something to the tree oh my god if he does something to the tree i think i will actually break so i'm up to page 447 i officially have 260 pages to go i'm going to end it there for the day lots of annotations going on i'm 62 percent into the book my emotions have definitely changed towards the book now i feel like it's definitely picking up speed i think because i took like two days away from it it gave myself the space that i needed to get into the mindset for this book and to kind of like process saving six and then to move on to this one and i think i'm like mentally ready and i think that's why i'm moving through it a lot quicker now <sighs> parksy 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 my heart goes out to magnolia it truly really does and it's like i feel like i'm riding a roller coaster of emotions and I'm very nervous to see what tomorrow will hold. I'm very nervous because today was just all over the place like you guys saw. So I think I'm just going to leave it there. And I will leave the rest of the emotional damage for tomorrow. You sleep a little probably. Same spot, different day. Today is Tuesday and it is the last day of this vlog. Do you want to know why? I only have 150 pages left of Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. And I'm actually, I'm actually sad about that. So I don't know if you guys can tell from the last update, but the page count has gone down. When I put it down last night, I actually couldn't stop thinking about it. Whereas before, at the start of this video, I was like putting it down, reading it really slow. Didn't really want to pick it up. Now I want to pick it up all the freaking time. I read 50 pages last night and I just read 50 pages just then in the bath I'm loving the book now and I feel like a lot of loose ends are being tied up there's closure to a lot of paths time to go finish the Magnolia Park series <laughs> again oh my god it's happening again no something's going to happen i feel it i actually feel it <laughs> something's happening something is happening something big is happening something big is happening <laughs> pages left <laughs> I need the daisy book immediately like actually immediately oh my god I wish I could say what I'm reading right now but I can't because it's spoiler free but oh my god how many loves do you get in a lifetime Nothing, nothing terrible happened. <laughs> I've been sitting here so anxious for no reason. I'm done. That is actually the perfect ending. Holy shit, I'm done. 
I'm never going to read about Magnolia and BJ ever again. Literally the perfect ending. I like need to compose myself. I cannot believe that I'm done with Magnolia Parks and BJ's story. The tabs are tabbing and I'm just like my heart is full and I just sent a message to my friend Zoe. I was never a Magnolia girl. Like who am I kidding? I just never connected to her but this book. Like I'm sitting here, I finished the book and my heart is so full so full i think it had the most wonderful perfect ending there is the last 50 percent of this book i devoured i loved i do really think that if i didn't read it back to back with saving six i would have had a different opinion which is sad because like it is the last book and i totally like set myself up for failure but i still did love it but it just like there's no loose ends i have closure on everything except i do need a daisy book i need the next daisy book like it's just amazing um i have to be completely honest i don't know what i'm gonna rate it and i think that my rating is definitely going to change over the next couple of days which doesn't really happen with me like ever so i'm just gonna tell you what i'm feeling now and if you want to know what i ended up like fully 100 rating it you can either like go to my goodreads which is linked down below or go to my april reading wrap up oh see this is why i'm like the first half of the book was sad but like obviously i was struggling to fully get into it because it was just so heavy and i was struggling but i definitely a me problem not a book problem i'm feeling like a four star i don't know i don't know guys okay at the moment i'm sitting at four stars i'm going to do a quick wrap up for saving six just in case i didn't film it when i did because i actually don't think i did i think i needed a couple of days that book was heavy um for me that is 3.5 stars for a couple of reasons. A, the book is great. I love Chloe Walsh and how she represents things. The addiction representation and the abuse representation in that. I have absolutely no criticism. That is perfect. My red flag is that I don't read trigger warnings and I was mentally prepared for the abuse in this story but I truth be told completely forgot about Joey's addiction. For those of you that don't know I'm five years sober of no alcohol. No it's not like drugs but I think with all addiction there's a reason for addiction. That underlying feeling they kind of coexist with a lot of other addictions and this book really truly hit me very very hard like i think at the end you can even tell of that video when i was reading the end of the book like i was emotionally checked out i think it triggered me i don't think i was ready for it i think it's gonna be a very long time before i pick up redeeming six because it was just so heavy and so triggering and that's on me that is on me. Um, I think that goes to show how good of a writer she is. The reason why it's 3.5 stars for me, and like this rating obviously isn't on Joey and stuff. This rating is purely on the relationship dynamic. Two things. One, I definitely emotionally connected for the romance a lot more with Shannon. Shannon. Shannon and Johnny, I connected with them emotionally a lot better. Couldn't mesh or gel with Joey and Aoife's romance, I think because they're such two headstrong characters, very fiery, very passionate, like very strong. Whereas Shannon is very soft, very loving. And I'm not saying that Joey and Aoife aren't loving, it just was a different type of love. You know when you pick on someone to flirt with them? Yeah, it was that type of vibe. And that's just not my vibe, I don't like that. I would literally cry if Joey spoke to me how he spoke to Aoife. The romance romance was good when he was there for her but obviously what addiction does to romance is like joey did the right thing in the end i think that's just my feeling don't i just didn't mesh with the romance love the characters individually i do think that there is chemistry there did like it but i personally didn't like the type of romance that it was because i like soft i like it when it's soft if you speak to me mean i will cry but yeah that is my overall thoughts feelings opinions on that i've officially ticked off one series out of this video sad about it but it's also good i'm still just like in shock i'm in the magnolia bj haze thank you guys so much for watching this i know that this has been like literally a roller coaster of emotions i just chose pain for an entire week but thank you so much for watching let me know if you like this because i will definitely continue this on and these type of vlogs of finishing series i'm in the middle of because i'm in the middle of a lot but thank you so much for watching see you next time